Other news at this hour, an Ypsilanti mother has her biggest fears realized right before her eyes last night. On her way home from work, she came upon an accident between a Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office scout car and a motorcycle. And it turns out that motorcycle belonged to her son, and she quickly discovered he and his girlfriend were badly hurt. Our Rod Maloney spoke to her today. 1035 last night, just after dusk, Washtenaw County Sheriff's deputies are going south here on Harris at Lester. And for whatever reason, we don't know whether it was for a call or just needing to turn around, made a U-turn right here by the tree at Grace Fellowship Church. And that's when the accident happened. This picture taken shortly after the accident shows the motorcycle underneath the scout car. The bike hit with two riders on board, 23-year-old Derek Little Jr. and his girlfriend, 21-year-old Heather Dunn. Neither wore a helmet. The collision happened a block from Derek's family home and his mother, Carrie Crager, came upon the scene and quickly saw. I know the back end of his bike. And I just couldn't, I was like, no, 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 no. And I ran out of the car and and she was, Heather was screaming and, and um, made, made my way to my son and he had such shallow breathing, it didn't look like he was breathing at first. Carrie tells us Heather suffered broken ankles and chest wounds. Derek more severely injured, had neck injuries and was bleeding. And I kept yelling at him, don't, please don't stop breathing, don't, please don't die, please don't stop breathing. In this emotional scene, EMTs quickly whisked Derek and Heather to St. Joseph Hospital, where Carrie was able to speak with Heather. Heather said they knew it was coming, and she just closed her eyes and just knew it was coming. There was just nothing that they could do. Derek underwent emergency surgeries overnight. He's still unconscious. He's on a breathing tube. Uh, he's on a ventilator, and I just just been talking, you know, talking. They said he can hear me. Um, he had some tears coming out of his eyes. I'm sure he's just really scared and not know what's going on. Well, the uh, there is a GoFundMe page for this family. In the meantime, Michigan State Police have, in fact, taken over the investigation of this, looking into how this all happened last night. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.